As you guys already know, the new update is about to get released, and after one year, they will finally update the Might of Ancients feature, and we will get the lore of Golden Cheese and White Lily. It's one of the things I'm excited about. We can finally get a glimpse on their past, even if it's only for a little bit. Lore crumbs of the canonical powerful cookies are the best. We also got some crumbs from the Witch's Castle game too, though I wonder if the people who already did the Might of Ancients can't access it anymore, because that would actually be sad. Devsis be gatekeeping the lore. If we can get another free ancient, that would be a slay. Though judging from the backstory cussing of the other three ancients, it will only be around 1 minute and 30 seconds long, so we can still watch it on YouTube if we can't access it. I hope the new chapter will really focus on Dark Cacao and Mystic Flower. It's a really interesting dynamic, and we can get lore from both Ancient and Beast. Cookie. Hopefully in the next chapters, we also get something like this too. It's somewhat like beliefs of the past versus the current soul gem holders. The other ancients deserve the spotlight too, since their soul gem is involved. Speaking of which, the sisters might follow this pattern. We got to meet Shadow Milk Cookie first, and now we're going to meet Mystic Flower Cookie. Will Hollyberry make a comeback in the next chapter with Eternal Sugar Cookie? Also, I have a gut feeling that Wind Spirit or the other legendaries will only appear the end of Beast Yeast. I don't know if Wind Spirit is traveling by foot, but Bro really said, I'm coming to save you, and comes to the scene like years later. It'll be so funny if he will arrive at the very last second. Like imagine seriously foreshadowing three legendaries, and then they arrive late to the party. Like Bro Colvay rented a jet from Taylor Swift, or spammed the jump button.